What's going on guys, Ben here. We're back for another Golf Clash tutorial and today we're going to be starting on our Tour 10 shootout holes. We're going to be doing three of them today. And we're going to start off with my least favorite hole in the game. This one here is also on Tour 8 if I remember right. Uh, but it is very tricky at times. Now with this win here, I like to just line it up where my ball guy shows it going into the hole and adjust for my win and go at it that way. Uh, with a headwind, it's a little different. Now I'll explain that in a second. But one thing I want you to really note on this shootout hole is I have a seven and a half, a 7.4 mile an hour wind here. I'm going to adjust for about 10 rings, which is usually with a 7.4, I'd go about seven and a half, but I do about one and a half times my rings on this hole because of the elevation of this hole, your landing area is lower. Therefore your ball is going to be in the air longer and it's going to cause the wind to affect it more. So as you can see there, I adjusted for 10 rings and it was right on line, just unfortunately for me, I ended up hitting the fringe and it took a weird bounce and slowed it down a bit. But as you can see, 10 ring adjustment with a seven and a half mile hour wind was pretty much perfect. It's just, I didn't line mine up correctly. With a headwind on this hole, it can get extremely brutal, guys. I've seen so many times that people put their shots into the, to the hazard there, the, the little valley or gorge or whatever you want to call it, because they don't know how to adjust for it with headwind. This hole is really tricky with a headwind. The way I like to play it is put no spin on it. I bring my target marker all the way back as far as I can to where my longest, my first bounce makes it over the, the gap and is safely, and I make sure I have enough room to adjust for my wind. I don't put any spin on it. I adjust for like one and a half times, like I said before, and I go about it that way. I put no spin on it sometimes, with, if the wind's not too hard, I will put one to two bars at the most, but I still make sure I have plenty of room to make my adjustment. Anyway, guys, that's that shootout hole there. We're going to move on to another shootout hole here, and this one that's coming up is what I kind of call the putt-putt hole. One of the putt-putt holes, there's a couple of them like this that kind of go around the world to get to the, to the hole, but... Um, then I can't really find the best way to play this. The way I play it to get it within about two yards every time is I put one top spin on it with this kind of wind, put five side spin on it. I notice if you put more than that, it goes a little bit too far. Um, and if you put less than that, it'll end up short like you'll see my opponent do after I shoot here. But I try to get mine to land. Like You see how it looks like a little crack there in the fairway? That's where I try to get mine to land. I put a full curl with an extra mile seven on uh, with no extra power or anything like that and I get it to land there and it usually gets within a couple of yards You sometimes even closer within a yard. I've never hold in one this hole I have hold in one the other one, but you'll be on the video tomorrow But this one here, it, it's kind of like a crap shoot man It's whoever can get the luckiest to get it closer If you know a better way to shoot this to get it close really really close every time let me know I have heard people say that they get really consistent when they land it up high on that banking, like almost at the uh, at the rough to the left there, um, kind of like a little higher than where this guy's aiming. I've heard people say that they, they're they really consistent with it there, but I haven't been able to duplicate those uh, those shots. So the way I play it is just, just land it in that little gap, put a curl on it, five spin to the right, one top spin with a tailwind. I, I mean, with a headwind, I'll put about three to four top spin on it. And still go with the curl after I, you know. Um, this one here, he is only using a navigator, which means he's not going to get the full effect. So he did curl it a bit more, which should help it. As you can see, he landed a little higher and went up in the rough. Even if you go up in the rough there, it's still going to roll down to the hole and be just fine. Now, he don't get as close as I did, and I ended up winning this shootout. But like I said, this one's kind of just a crap shoot. I always call them the putt-putt holes. Because that's what it reminds me of, trying to hit it around the big curve to get into the hole. The next hole that's going to be coming up is one of the new ones, I think, from the Cle Creepy Cliffs Tournament. Or it might have been one of the Haunted Hills holes. I can't remember. One of the new par 3s that is currently on Tour 10. I don't know how long it'll be on Tour 10, but it's on here right now. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it to you as well. Uh, this one here, the biggest thing, you just want to avoid the right side. If you hit it to the right on this hole, to the right side of the hole it will roll down and off the green onto the fringe or, or even into the bunker if you if you don't have the right spin on it. I've seen people land it too far to the right several times. So you want to make sure you adjust for it well. What I do is I always make sure I put some left spin on it to kind of counter that. 
uh, try to get it closer to you. You'll see once I go to set mine up how I do it. Uh, I'll have a slight tailwind on my shot. And what I do when I have a tailwind is I put four backspin and three spin to the left. And there's a little gap. The, the greens are really hilly. So there's a little gap where you can get it where it looks like it lines up perfectly straight with the hole. And that's where I try to find. As you'll see here in just a minute when I go to shoot mine. 2.6, I mean 2 point, well 2.69 I think he got. Still not a very bad shot. You can get a lot closer than that of holding one this hole once. Um, I've come really close a few times. Uh, but this here, like I say, if you want, you can see where it kind of, yeah, like, like right there. I got it where it lined up where it's perfectly going into the hole. Four back spin, three spin to the left. Have a slight tailwind, like I said here. Um, I do adjust a little bit extra on this hole as well, just because the elevation, the, your landing zone is a little lower than your tee box. So the wind will affect it a bit more. You don't have to adjust as much as you do on the first shootout hole that I showed you today. But you do have to adjust a little extra for this one, as you can see there. Pretty close. Uh, it, could, it took a little bounce to the left and didn't roll quite straight in, but perfect distance with four backspin, three spin to the left. I'll try to get you guys the other three shootout holes tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.